today I have the pleasure of speaking with Jim Payne from Dinosert. How are you, Jim? I'm great. Thank you, Tracy. Jim, you were fabulous in our investor talk this morning because, as I mentioned to everybody here, you were ESG before anyone even knew what ESG was, and you were at the front of the global carbon credit market. Tell us where you are today and, and where are we headed? Tracy, I am so excited about the carbon credits, and I know you know you and I have talked about this for years. I have believed for several years that Dynasert was going to be at the forefront of the carbon credit world, uh, you know, long before even carbon credit was something that anybody was talking about. But the reality is, you know, we are so close. Uh, we have you know, spent the last little better than two years working with Vera, which is the governing body out of, out of Washington. They are the largest governing body uh, to approve and, and register carbon credits. They have approved our methodology. Uh, they, we are, they have brought in an independent uh, audit firm that is doing the final audit on the on our technology. It was very interesting. I had a conversation with the audit firm uh, just the other day. They are working out of the UK and uh, they've been doing this for years. And they said, you know, we've never been more excited. They said, you know, we look at the methodology and we look at Dynacert, we look at your Hydrolytica, which is the telematics, you know, everything is so verifiable. They said, you know, carbon credits, typically, you know, it is the sort of, it's that what if, you know, we grow a tree and we're hoping that we're going to get this, we do that, we do, you know, where with, with Dynacert, this is 100% verifiable, uh, certified, you know, telematics, you know, where you cannot, there's no human interface where we can't fudge this, we can't, make this, you know, this is not make believe, this is, this is real, this is, uh, you know, it, it's numbers, it's, it's telematics, it's taken right from the computer of an engine. So they're excited, I'm excited, you know, I believe that, you know, we are going to be there within, you know, at some point this year, we have some of the largest companies in North America that has been talking to me for quite some time that, all they want, they want the carbon credits. They want the bragging rights. They want to be able to say that they have adopted our technology, you know, for the carbon credits. And uh, I'm very excited about that. We've also got, you know, municipalities here in Canada and in Europe, and we've got some of the largest power supply companies here in Canada in our own backyard that are, you know, that have ran pilot projects using our technology, love the technology, and are going to outfit their entire fleets. Uh, they want they want the bragging rights. They want the carbon credits. They I know the one company we were just talking to, and they had they had goals where they were going to meet. You know, over the next three years, by adopting our technology, they meet and exceed. You know, their goals. You know, for for the emission reductions and stuff like that. So there's a lot of excitement there, and yes, I'm very very excited about it. So also. For everybody out there at InvestorIntel.com, for instance, you may not be aware of exactly what Dinosaur does to make revenue. Because intriguingly, you answered one individual's questions with, we do not need to raise capital, which is something we all savor as people in the market watching companies. Can you explain to our audience what you do to make revenue? Thank you. Well, what we do is we have, we have, product is called our hydrogen hydrogen is it's, it's a patented technology we have actually over i think it's now 17 or 18 patents on our technology uh, but it we produce pure hydrogen and pure oxygen on demand feed it into an internal combustion engine to enhance the burn by doing that we improve the fuel economy more importantly we reduce the emissions right at the source right at the combustion and we reduce the emissions north of 50 percent you know, and, and this is primarily on diesel engines. So, you know, we look at these diesel engines, the NOx, which is the NOx, which is the most deadly gas produced by diesel engine. We reduce that up to 88% right at the combustion. And it's because with the introduction of hydrogen as a catalyst, it gives such a more complete and clean burn that, you know, we're taking diesel and making it green. And Jim, thank you for reintroducing Dinosaur because you've been quiet here for the last during COVID. 
yep. respectfully, PR wise. Uh, I usually tell everybody, look at everything at the moment, at this moment in time and where they're moving forward. But people also like to look at patterns in the past. Can you just explain why COVID impacted you the way that it did and how you're getting everything running again? Absolutely. Tracy, I, you know, I love to look back historically. You look back at, uh, at our stock price. I mean, that's one measuring stick. You look back at our stock price just before COVID. That's when everything was happening. We hit our all-time high. I think it was $1.24. Uh, and uh, then again, COVID hit. And then we, it just plummeted. I mean, we were forced to shut down. We have our plant here where we build our technology. The plant was shut down. Uh, and we were shut down. Like we're, We were just expanding globally. We have offices in Europe now. We've got dealers around the world. And, you know, with this happening, I mean, it shut everything down. There was no sales. Uh, the only thing we did do, because we were very well capitalized at the time, and I'm so thankful that we went into that position, you know, very well capitalized that we could ride the storm. But we took that time to enhance our facilities here. We looked at, you know, our manufacturing facility. We now have a state-of-the-art, you know, computerized, uh, automated uh, facility for building our technology. Uh, we enhanced our hydrolytica. Our hydrolytica is the telematics, you know, which measures everything and verifies all this technology where, you know, the end user can, they, they can download an app, they can download on their, on their computer and they can see in real time the fuel savings, you know, the improvements, you know, the reduction in emissions, the CO2E reductions, which converts to carbon credits. They can see all that in a snapshot. If they want to go deeper, they can keep drilling down and they can see where their vehicles are, what's happening, how the driving habits. Uh, we had one company, they had a truck get, got in an accident. And uh, so, you know, they were sort of at their wits ends. And then all of a sudden they said, well, wait a minute, it's got a hydrogen unit. They contacted us. We could give them all the data leading up to the last second of the impact of the vehicle. What happened? We had another truck that was stolen and uh, they couldn't find this transport, transport full of, of you know, goods. And then all of a sudden they said, well, wait, it's got a hydrogen unit on. They contacted us and we located the unit. We told them and within 15 minutes, they found the unit. So there's so many added benefits to it above and beyond you know, the technology we have. But really our technology, is it's all about fuel savings. It's all about the emission reductions. We are a carbon emission reduction technology. And on that note, thank you so much for the update, Jim. And for everybody seeking more information on Dynasert, please go to their website or reach out to Jim and his team at Dynasert. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Tracy.